welcome back guys and i just want to take a moment to thank you all for supporting my channel uh ever since i decided to come back on youtube it's been fun it's been it's been fun i have to admit that you know i was a little bit nervous to come back after being away for so long but you know i i really enjoy it and i love all the comments and it just gives me a motivation to continue so that being said in this video I wanted to show you how to make one of these uh, wristlets um, I've made lots of these before but this time I want to make one from cork remember that uh, cork class I told you I took in the embroidery show uh, last week if you're watching this later last week was April of uh, 2024 um, and I never worked with cork before and so this was one of the projects that they had us do so I just thought I would show you now I've made them from fabric and I've made them from vinyl this I've made on my embroidery machine this I just made on a regular sewing machine and yeah you do that and you put your keys or whatever you want to hook on it so this cork is cut two inches by 11 inches I think that's good enough to room to get over my wrists and you know everybody's hand is a different size so I think that's enough for but you can make it longer if you choose so the next thing I'm going to do is oh, first of all I should say you would need a rotary cutter or scissors I am using double-sided tape you're going to need one of these uh, key fob hardware something to mark with a ruler and a press or if you don't have a press I know Amazon sells like those uh, pliers to uh, close this so your cork is cut two inches and now you want to find the middle let me make sure Yes, so I'm going to find a middle line. Now, honestly, this is a little bit wider than two inches. Like, not two and a quarter. It's more like two and an eighth. And that's not a bad thing because when you fold, you're going to lose width on your on your project so I'm trying to find the middle of this and then I will draw a line okay so I don't know if you can see that there's my line in yellow and what I did this is not something I learned in class I decided to put double-sided sticky tape just over the line and I know you're gonna say that I'm blocking the line but here's what's gonna happen once I put that down I take a pin and I get this white piece off. And now you have sticky tape, but I can still see my line. So this is just something I did in order to accomplish that. Um, you can use clips if you want. You know, you fold your edge and use clips, but I thought this was easier. So now you just fold your cork to the line. And 
And then you do the same thing for the other side. Now I haven't, um, I don't know if I can leave it like this. I don't want to, I want to stitch it because I want to, I want it to be secure because I've never used this tape without stitching, uh, after if there is a permanent solution to sticky tape. If this is a permanent solution or if there is a permanent solution I'm pretty sure you can leave it that way and fold it like this and put your hardware on and be done but I want to stitch it because that's what I was taught in my class <laughs> and you're going to stitch on your sewing machine down this side, down this edge, and you're gonna also stitch down that edge. Now you wanna go close to the edge as you can. Cause if you stitch like midway, this could possibly uh, raise up later on. Now I have this tool here from my Cricut cutting machine and I'm just using it to like roll it flat. And now I'm going to go to my machine and stitch it. The one thing I was thinking about was to get like variegated thread and just do a zigzag stitch over, over the seam. And it's going to look like really pretty on this side. But I don't know. I don't know yet. So, I mean... You can try. That's what being creative is about. So let me see if I have some variegated thread and I will do a zigzag and I will do a single needle on this and see how they look. Okay, I'll be back. I haven't stitched it yet. <laughs> I went to my thread uh, pegboard and Pulled all the variegated thread that I have. I've had these for a very long time and I've never used them. So I honestly don't think this would look good on this. What I do think is it will look better on something like this if I were to use the variegated thread on this one. I think it would be more effective. So I think I'm going to stitch just a single needle on this one and when I do this one I will do a um, zigzag stitch the next thing I should tell you before you actually stitch it is make sure you have um, a microtex needle not a leather a microtex one that will prevent the needle from um, cutting your fabric is that what I want to say? I don't know. But when you're sewing cork and suede and full vinyl and stuff like that, a Microtex needle is the needle of choice. <laughs> okay, I am going to do that now. Okay, I am back and I stitched it. I wonder if you can see it. The variegated thread, I used the variegated thread on this, but I stitched it um, a straight stitch. And the variegated thread is very, very, very thin, in my opinion, the one that I have. Um, I don't know much about variegated thread, so I bought it because of the colors. Anyway, it worked. And I also did this one just single needle again there and I use the variegated on the black in a zigzag stitch I love this one <laughs> this is my favorite 
I was gonna go like tighter, like the stitches closer together, but uh, I didn't want to be dealing with the thread breaking all the time. I don't know if it would have, but I had my setting at one for the stitch length and the zigzag is four. And that's what I did for this. So our last step, and here's something I'm gonna do as well with the tape. I'm gonna put the tape down here to help with um, it not moving when I am putting the hardware on. So I'm gonna put tape here. You know one thing I noticed, the black cork doesn't like the tape. So let's work with this one. Because I put tape on this one and it was raising up just the black, not this one. It was um, raising all the time and I had to try and push it down. So, yeah, so I'm going to put this here and let's see if this would work. Okay, here you go. And then you just fold like this and get your ends together. I'm going to cut these little threads. You want to get your end. You want everything to meet and be nice and even. That's what you want. Now you can do this without putting tape, but for me it's one less thing to hold. And then I'm using this colorful hardware. And it's gonna go in here like that and I'm gonna use my press and just press it down and that's it there's a little thread here, and I'm going to cut that off, and I'm going to do the other one since I'm here. These are going to go for my Mother's Day um, market on Thursday. doesn't want to stick. Let's rub on it a little bit more. Okay. And what color did I choose for this one? This color that I chose. I think this one is nice and flush. This one has a little bit extra hanging out here. I don't like. So I would say make sure your your um, cork is two inches. This is probably a little bit. I know this one was like two and an eighth. Let's see how this one. This one I'm also going to put the rainbow um, on this one. You want to get it nice and flush on the sides. This one is nice and flush too. This one seemed to be a little bit wider. And 
and don't put your fingers there. Okay. Whoops. I okay. I thought I bent the circle, the ring, but no, it's not that. Yeah. So, oh, I really love. I really love this one. I thought this would be my favorite, but this one is my favorite. Okay. These are super easy and they're super cute. Uh, and to me, they stand up better than the fabric ones, but the fabric ones are cute too. And these are my embroidered one these are a different style because it has rivets on it but it doesn't open okay tell me what you think in the comments have you ever made key fobs before or wristlets i don't know what you call them but i call them both names <laughs> whichever one comes to mind um yeah tell me if you made this before and if you make them let me see uh, tag me on on my Instagram page and show me what you made anyway this is the end of this video um, I think the next video I'm going to attempt to make this cork notebook but yeah, I'm going to try the mini one first and then we could like try a bigger version. Anyway, thank you for watching my video again. I appreciate you guys for showing up for my videos and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, bye.